mics out of the shot, Alex? Are you good? Um, yep, I can't see mics. Actually, wait. Oh, here, 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 Classic New Orleans champion, Rory McIlroy and Shane Lowry. Rory, your 25th PJ Tour title. This is your third when you're making your tournament debut. Shane, your, your third PJ Tour title. Just opening comments on, on what it means to experience this, this together here this week. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I think, um, yeah, to win, to win any PGA Tour event is very cool, but to do it with one of your closest friends, and, um, you know, we've, we've known each other for a long, long time, uh, probably like over 20 years. So to think about where we where we met, where we've come from, to be on this stage and do this together, um, really really cool journey that, that we've been a part of, and um, yeah, just awesome to be able to do it alongside this man. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, I, we both felt like we needed to come in here and maybe have a very strong week because we, you know, we wanted to get our summer going, and you know, we've got a lot of big golf coming up soon. And, be nice to get that jump up the FedEx Cup that we both wanted. So it's, it's nice, um, you know, it's, it's great to get away. And it was great fun all week, you know, everything about it uh, was just brilliant. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. Like having this man by my side is just, uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen the drive you hit up the 18th and the 72nd hole. Like, you know, when you've got him doing that, it's it's pretty easy to play golf from there for me. So, uh, well, I, I made it look hard at times, but. Um, no, it was it was it was amazing. Like we we went out there, we had loads of fun, and we won the tournament. It's, you couldn't ask for a better week. For you personally, now you get into the remaining three seasons. Yeah, season just it's been huge for me because I wasn't going to be in Quail Hollow. I was hoping to get an invite for um, uh, Memorial. Uh, I was hoping to get an invite there. And Travelers, I didn't really know what was going to happen, so I knew I needed to make some better score points, and this gets me in those. And it's uh, you know it means I can plan my schedule now and. You know, with, with family stuff and my wife and kids going back to Ireland in the summer, it means I don't really have to stay over here and, and uh, you know, grind it out too long. I can I can do what I, I feel like and what I want to do. And yeah, it's it's freed me up a lot this summer. So uh, hopefully we can both kick on now. Yeah. We've got three majors left. You know, hopefully we can get one each. Maybe two and one be nice. <laughs> yeah, but, that'd uh, be nice. Yeah, that's 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 the plan for the rest of the summer. All right, guys, one more question. What was required? To Just, just patience. I think um, you know you're sitting in having your breakfast this morning before we go out, and you know like do you see the trees out there? They're they're whipping. It's pretty windy. Like the boys shooting 63. That is an unbelievable score in those conditions in that format. Um, so we get off to a slow start. We seen we were five back. The boys had already finished. We probably thought maybe we try and get to 26. We never really spoke about it, but that's what I thought in my head. But to play the last five, uh, 12 holes and 5 under, I think it was very, very good. And it showed a lot about our characters and um, how much we wanted to win this thing. Rory, can you just talk about, I mean, you mentioned the fans out there, just kind of the energy you know, following you and what that means when you're in a, a tournament like this that's so close. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, you know, the, the, the fans and the, the atmosphere all week has been incredible. You know, people have come out in their thousands to support us. And, um, you know, it's not... It's not lost on me that you know how, how cool that is. Um, every time I get to play in front of thousands of people, the the little boy in me just thinks it's so so cool and so exciting. So uh, really grateful for everyone to come out and, and show up and, and um, let us play in an atmosphere like that. And yeah, I mean you know especially in front of all those people you know coming down those last few holes. Yeah, you start to feel it and you start to you know it, it, it felt like a big time atmosphere and a, and a big time tournament and uh, you know the crowd really really made the weekend. Rory, did the crowd kind of help you the last two days as tired as you were going to the back nine, you know, seven down yesterday, three down today, did the, did the crowd kind of fuel you a little? Um, yeah, I think you know getting the support out there definitely helps. I think more than anything else, you know, having this guy to lean on, that was what fueled me and what um, I think it, you know, being able to rely on each other a little bit, I think that's what really, really helped us. Um, you know, over the last 10 or 11 holes yesterday, and then over the last 12 holes today. Rory, 
Rory, two weeks ago you were answering questions about whether you should reassess your game at the time. Is there any element of this week of just wanting to come here with Shane and just have the fun and not feel all that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, golf. The reason that Shane and I both started to play golf is because we thought it was fun at some stage in our life, and I think um, sort of re-injecting a little bit of that fun back into it, like a week like this week, you know, it, it can always help. You don't want to make too much of it, but is there any element of like having an experience like this where you are kind of stepping away a bit, having more fun, does it maybe help you the rest of the year? Yeah, I think so, but I also think to to play the sort of golf that we did coming down the stretch when there was a little bit of pressure, I think that'll stand to us also. But yeah, I mean, I, I've i always felt like I play my best golf when I'm enjoying myself and uh, hard to not enjoy yourself when you're out there walking the fairways with you. Jane, you know, 16, what, what did you have to the hole? How far did you hit? And Rory, you talked about the flat, how long it was? Yeah, yeah. that was huge. Um, obviously, wasn't ideal we were already hitting the bunker off the tee but I'm like fairway bunkers for me are not like they're a strong part of my game and I'm pretty confident about them so I knew once I had a decent lie like I knew once I seen the ball bouncing and what didn't float that I knew I was going to have a swing and a shot at it and uh, yeah 140 to the pin um, and uh, just hit a wedge uh, hit a lovely shot in just left of it probably not really where I was aiming pulled it a little bit but um, to Rory to go and hold that but that kind of Freed us up a little bit for the last couple of holes, but then I hit a poor tee shot on 17. But like you know, the wind was kind of slightly out of left on 17 today, and I just couldn't get myself to start it over the water, you know, because there's all sorts of all sorts of trouble over there, gators and everything. And uh, you know, we knew, uh, you know, in my head I thought if I miss the green right, Rory's a good chipper, we get it up and down, and we can birdie the last to win. That's what I was thinking. Uh, we didn't obviously get it up and down, but we birdied the last game of the playoff, and then we were fortunate to go on and win in the playoff. Yeah, the putt was, um, you know, that, that green or that hole has been good to us over the weekend. We made a birdie there yesterday and then, you know, made another one today. Uh, I looked at it quite a bit. Um, it broke a lot, yeah. It probably broke a, a good couple of feet. Um, I don't know what the camera angle was on TV, but, you know, there was a lot of break in it and it was one of those where it was like speed was more important than line. I just had to get the speed right and sort of match it up. And, um, yeah, that was, that was a huge putt. Um, and that really, you know, obviously as Shane said, we, we went, you know, and bogeyed 17, but you know, that, you know, that, that was a huge putt and give us that little bit of a cushion that we could, you know, get away with making a bogey on, on 17, which is probably playing the toughest hole of the, of the day. Rory, how many uh, implications is it to, you know, if you're going into the playoff that you just come immediately off 18 versus, you know, a team that has to sit four hours to go back up? Yeah, I mean, I think that was to our advantage today. Um, you know, I, I you know feel for Martin and Chad a little bit. You know, they they played an unbelievable round of golf. To shoot 63 in those conditions out there in foursomes is is super impressive. So, yeah, to be sitting around and not really knowing, you know, they might be in a playoff, they might not be, um, and then to you know, I'm sure they had obviously had time to warm up and everything, but it's still it's a it's different than us just coming straight back, you know, off the golf course, you know, and, and straight back into it. So. I think because of that, we probably had a little bit of an advantage on on the playoff. Hole. It was weird for me. I, I don't get that. That stuff doesn't happen to me. It doesn't happen to me. When you're with this man, it's like, uh, yeah, he, he's certainly, you know, um, he's getting old, but he can still move the needle a little bit. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, you know, Rory brings a crowd and people love him. And yeah, we've got a lot of love this week in New Orleans, and it's been, yeah, we've had just the best week. A couple more guys. Uh, I don't think they need to try. I think we're coming back. <laughs> we'll be here. I'll be here anyway. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here waiting for him. What restaurant was it? Uh, Arno's. Arno's. Okay. Uh, I think I've, I've, I've like, I've gone through a little bit over the last couple of months, a few weeks, a few tournaments where I've struggled on the greens a little bit. I changed my putter this week. Feels really good, but I'm just not trusting it as well as I would like. Um, I missed a couple of short putts that kind of gets me down a little bit, but Rory was there to back me up this week, and he was a great teammate, and you know he made me believe in myself, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it was good to have him there to do that. So yeah. And I think as well, it takes the pressure off. You know, I hit a poor tee shot on 16, yeah. for example, today, and then knowing that Shane can go ahead and hit a great second shot and sort of, 
you know, not make the tee shot. Tee we shot also look know as bad we're, as we're as out there as trying as our hardest, and yeah, we know exactly. we're not trying to hit bad shots. Yeah. Um, we don't say sorry, and we you know, we get on with it and do our best and see yeah. where it leads us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.